welcome. Welcome to Sedona Sacred Union. Today we're going to do a little bit of a reading and energy update on the Divine Masculine as well as the Divine Feminine and have a little bit of channeling um, to go along with that. Um, I'm going to pick a card first. Start with a card, um, a starseed card, so that we can kind of have a theme. Um, today I was um, investigating all over um, Sedona and going for a little bit of a um, checkups about the vortexes and, and saying prayers in different places and working on studying and growth and, and clarity in my direction. And um, I just kept getting the um, words freedom and transformation for everyone. So we're going to start with that. And I felt Mother Mary a lot today too. Which would be universal and unconditional love that we're all um, stepping toward as we uh, walk home together. Let's see, overall. Huh? Stillness. Stillness. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. We will breathe in a little bit of love, kindness, and compassion for all of us. And um, I'm also seeing, it's almost like a time to balance for both the divine masculine and feminine. A little bit of a, an, like a breather, a break, a relief. Um, not that we don't have to go to work and not that we don't need to pay the bills and not that we de don't need to do our, our things. It just feels like there's going to be a little bit of quietness or stillness inside so that we can find our um, next steps with clarity and um, recognize our purposes with clarity and recognize our soul families and directions and twin flames or sacred union partners um, with clarity because it feels like that a lot of us are still a little bit... Um, confused or not not knowing um it's almost like the greatness of it the the big huge importance of it all in our awakening and ascensions because many as we know of our sacred union partners we have um a lot of purpose divinely orchestrated purpose with um them pardon and um so we're integrating some of the pieces, some of our old pieces. Uh, I know I have been um, painful things, um, old shadow work, um, distortion. And so it feels like that there's a little bit of a stillness so that we can catch the clarity and our eyes can be opened to what directions. It's, it's almost like you and your partner or soul families, um, um, your grouping and the divine have a very important um, purpose. And it feels like the clarity in this stillness or this lull or relief um, will become very clear. And if any of us are resistant or um, stuck in our ego or, or, or just, you know, saying, no, no, I don't want to do that. It's like you, you might say stuck for a while, but um, it could could be that God will kind of knock you around a little bit in some way and bring you um, some clarity. It's like confidence and clarity. Um, so what I'm getting is that some of the some of us, either divine masculine or feminine, or that within ourselves, have been knocked around so much that it pushed out some of the confidence and it made us a little bit meek or worried or unsure or unclear about um, what direction to go in and what our um, purposes are together. And they're saying that there will be, um, we've got ancestors here in Mother Mary. So the new earth energy ancestors, and they're saying that they will bring you um, a, an energy or a helper, like a guide, a spirit guide that's different um, than before. It's, it's like full, fully plugged in, different. So, so work on listening for that, feeling that, recognizing that in front of you. Um, 
and know that that will bring you a, a new, it's like a new archetype or a new, um, it's like a guidance counselor from spirit, from God, from the divine um, for each of us and our unions and our soul families. Um, so I'm going to pull another card here and it says stepping stones. Ooh, look how beautiful that is. As we are in, um, we just passed not too long ago, the, um, full moon in cancer, which would be a water sign, which would be that our emotions, whether we like it or not, um, push outward. Um, and we recognize, um, the good and the bad emotions actually and we cleanse and clear our rivers inside of us and go toward the light on our, our ascension journey home and um, go toward home in each other recognize home in each other take the next step let go of the old paradigm I can't even yeah so what I'm getting from the New Earth Energy Ancestors um, uh, Higher Frequency um, Council for us is um, that we will each have help from God, the Divine, the Light, the Universe um, that will come in form of is like a guide. And each one of us, um, very uh, cutely aware that we're all a little bit of psychic or a little bit of connected extra um, we will listen and we'll bring the new paradigms and the archetypes um, through this divine guidance that we're going to receive and it will lead us to each other and recognizing home in each other um, and recognizing our big purposes here because many of us were just you know we've all known this for decades we were born to I don't know, help, be of assistance. And um, in this stillness, in this moment, we are going to recognize the new archetypes of who we are. Could be like, um, it's like benevolent, um, loving, um, strong guidance that we will receive. Um, whole is what they're saying. The wholeness that we are st walking toward as we walk home together. Um, so I'm going to pull a couple cards for the Divine Masculine and see where the Divine Masculine is in energy wise and um, if there's any messages for the Divine Masculine that can come right now. Nice. I got realization. Realization. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth, which is, you know, also what the divine counsel um, of, of God is saying here today, as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world, which is also what they're talking about. Realization. Number 37. Number 37 goes into um, being a 10 or 1 in um, numerology. And so in that realization, I think many of the um, divine masculines um, could be male or female or could be within us, our divine masculine um whole peace within us, yin yang peace. Um, and what they're saying is that they're coming together like there are many p levels to this realization for many of the masculine um, consciousness and many in the masculine energy and some of our sacred counterparts um, um, that are um, waking up to the realizations of what what is calling them home and it feels like that some of the masculines are finding each other um and i'm seeing this 
energy where we're way up high, way out in, in, in the outer regions in the sky. And we can look down and there are um, the roof off of some of the houses along the city, in the cities and in the country and in the um, expanded land are open. <laughs> and there's a light coming down into the, the house and the divine masculine is being activated with realization and clarity about um, their walk home. And they're also recognizing in um, pretty big ways their true friends, their true connections, their true soul tribes and families. And I think um, even if we thought it was a different purpose or a different direction, it's almost like they're being stopped and shown, um, you know, about what in this life, what can we do? What are we supposed to be doing? What did we sign up for? What are our big soul contracts um, look like with God? Um, and they're showing me this um, a symbol for me to show Akashic Records. So Akashic Records would be your book of life. And all of us come here with some inner purposes and, and we go through experiences that we choose to um, um, complete things, help us, help us along our way, possibly learn some things and um, ex extend our balance and soul growth as well. And so some of the divine masculine energies are deeply like recognizing, even if they don't think in terms of spiritual things or pulling a card or soul contracts or um, spirit guides or anything like that, they are going inside going, oh, I was trying to build the wrong thing. And that's, um, for me, that's over the last few years, that is kind of where I came to. And, and it's a little bit funny because all day I've been hearing, it's going to, when it, it's going to surprise you when it hits you. And I, that makes me a little bit nervous because apparently I've been slightly either blinded or um, uh, resistant to some of my guidance, um, which, you know, can happen to us all. Um, but the realization, realization can help us through this transformation. I believe that all of us um, in some way are going through kind of a, a death and rebirth time, a transition as we um, keep moving into 2021. So the other one I got was dynamic. That sounds good. Dynamic. Um, I want you to pay attention to this or I, 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 what I'm saying is here's your sacred union to two pieces and this is the truth home in in your hearts your souls um, ascension and the divine that plays a, a role a part in this and um, that's a cool symbol and so for the dynamic card it says the frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new with ease, grace, and great joy. Dynamic. Dynamic is um, number 23, which is a five number, which always means change and transformation. Um, and it's like a great, it's like a great rebalancing for the divine masculine of like shake up, um, shake down, shake up, um, balancing for the dynamic of your relationships, lives and, and directions. Um, and it's like a recalibration, really big recalibration going on. So if anyone feels tired or anyone feeling, you know, symptoms of, um, of anything like that we would call ascension symptoms, which could be anything. Um, just just rest in the stillness a little bit extra and listen to your heart. You might want to just go inside and ask for clarity from the universe or the divine. Um, that could help. I'm seeing the um, divine masculine energies come together in really, um, really awakened ways, recognizing who, what, when, where, how um, their connections are bringing them home or bringing us to each other and our purposes and how we're supposed to manifest and create together um, and just help the world 
help the universe. Um, so there are some big frequency shifts that are going on in the last weeks. Okay, what else for the Divine Masculine? Oh, well, that'll mean something, I'm sure. Hmm, Prince of Staves, which would be wands, fire. Um, that can be direction, that can be, um, let me add them, let me get going. Let me step forward. Feels like um, some of the divine masculines are either dealing with some, either children, young, feeling people, um, might have a little bit of fiery en energy going on, or there are others around them with a little bit of fiery energy that are um, making them aware. Um, so pay attention to them. If there are others around you, kind of loudly, loud, or um, talking a little bit extra, just aware mm. this is kind of cool there's um this is in the traditional deck this would be the hero font tradition Juno um so there's something about um big organization meaning it could be paperwork it could be a divorce it could be marriage could be um forming an organization it could be um it's the architecture the the structure of things and so it's feels uncomfortable but yet it's the right direction it's like the right way choosing the right choice choosing the right thing um and so it feels like the divine masculine knows what they need to do and there might be um, a little bit of paperwork or or a um, soul contract <laughs> involved or contracts of some kind um, direction to new home or how do I it's almost like organize everything like put it out like if, if you if you were gonna I don't know let's say um, go on a different career path or um, I know want to move across the country and buy a house um, there are steps to that and how do you unplug from here and, and go to your heart's desire your direction and, and how do you buy a house how do you who do you call all the steps and all the paperwork and um, organization. So it feels like that there's a lot of that going on. Don't listen to anyone else. I'm getting that some for some of the divine masculines, people are not gonna maybe like what you're doing or saying and or your direction or your choice. They're gonna tell you you can't do it or it only works one way when you know inside that it works um, a different way and it, the different way is yours. And so the divine will shine a light upon some things. No one else knows but you. And we've got Ace of Coins, Pentacles. And it feels like the direction that home is calling you and would bring some stability. There's a lot of stability for the divine masculine coming in. And um, it's, it's almost like all pride, um, ego, personality pieces are being kicked out of the way a little bit so that um, we are put on course. And there's a promise of um, abundance and nurturing and support and um, you know that inside if you've been running from that or if we've been programmed in the past to not believe that we um, possibly even deserve or can have everything that we wanted inside. Um, it's like that's being undone so that there's going to be some stepping stones for us all um, to find our, our way. And we just need to listen inside. I'm going to pull one more for the Divine Masculine. Oop, there it is. Mm, love. So if any of you are feeling drawn toward um, choosing for, like choosing your direction or choosing who you love. Um, it, it just feels like it's, it's, it's like home, calling you home. If you feel home calling you, if you feel a person's heart calling you, um, it just feels like really strong and passionate energy. So if you're feeling that toward anyone and you just know inside, um, just know that's your, you know, sacred piece of yourself, your higher self, the universe telling you, like, it's okay. That's the right choice. Even if we thought it wasn't before. Even if we went the wrong direction before. So, 
I give thanks for the divine masculine and the divine masculines as human beings um, and um, send great love. Okay, cool. We're going to do put that there. And I'm going to pull a couple of cards for the divine feminine to see what we can um, see if there are any messages for the divine feminine. Falling out here. Got a couple. Integration. Integration. Number 30, and that would also be in like the Holy um, Trinity number numerology, and it can also mean like celebration and togetherness, um, helping each other, helping each other, number three. The frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. Um, so for the Divine Feminine, as we integrate all the energies, and um, I've definitely been working on this for the last year through 2020, um, especially where there's there are these pieces um, and old distortions and old ties and connections that have, um, it's almost like made me believe lesser of myself or, or blocked me or um, held me down or squished my light. And so I've been working on integrating those pieces um, within myself. And um, I'm seeing the divine masculine do that also. And I'm seeing uh, Mother Mary step forward out of this um, group of um, ancestors of the our council our new um, higher higher love council is what they're saying and she's saying I just want to bring it's almost like bring you give you a, a rose for that self-love it's been really hard it's been hard for many of the divine humans um, and divine they have divine counterparts and um, um, soul tribes and soul families um, because it's been pretty brutal. And thank you because some of us have been, it's almost like scraping, scraping the, the, the ick off the bottom of the pan or the bottom of the um, barrel for, um, to bring up for healing for mass consciousness. So she's saying thank you and she brings us a rose of, of love and nurturing support and um, a balanced mother because um, there's a big layer of uh, truly like support, nurture, um, companionship in this divine feminine energy that we're, we're kind of sitting in and, and learning about right now because for the divine feminine consciousness or our divine feminines, um, where we realize the balance of, um, of how we treat one another and that unconditional love, which has been hard for all of us uh, throughout our lifetimes to um, recognize and, and receive. She brings us all just, it's almost like throwing rose petals over us and roses and saying you, you've come a long way. It's time to breathe and celebrate and just know inside and get back that confidence. Um, ooh, fun. The next one that fell out um, was romantic love and so the councils are saying that's you know on the mind of of all of us we want to be loved we want to receive love and they're saying that many of the divine feminines gave too much or it was imbalanced or it was um, codependent in some way with it could be within our work situations our houses our families our um, relationships and partnerships and they're saying there's been an, and it's like an adjustment, tuning adjustment in the frequencies and you've done a really good job in um, releasing some of that codependence or that darker energy. And um, it's almost like the mirrors have been cleared. And romantic love is in number 39, which is a 12, which also um, touches our Holy Trinity energy inside of us. Um, Yin Yang, Holy Spirit. Harmony, I keep getting the word harmony in this romantic love. So 
Um, to me, it feels like you might have a connection, some of you or some of us, with um, someone that really actually does love you, like someone loves you. Um, and, you know, sometimes we either don't recognize it, we walk past it, or um, it wasn't time, but it feels like that you might have an awareness of someone actually loving you um, in a balanced way that is has your highest good um, as their intention. They're also saying that this is it's could be a little bit slow, could be you know that we need to be patient. If you haven't met your um, counterpart yet, or um, in your romantic uh, love relationships. It feels to have gone extremely badly. Um, just know that that was a, a course correction and adjustment. And um, and you might have, you know, this week or the, in the coming weeks, some connection or realization that you are truly loved and lovable. Truly. You shine. Um, the frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with the and reflection of a conscious lover. The frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and reflection of a conscious lover. That means equal reciprocity and re really realizing that you are and have been loved. No more wrong way kind of thing. Um, if your person's coming, if you get to work with others in your soul family, soul tribe, you need to do it the right way. And we're going to learn how to, if we have little pieces about us or issues about us, we're going to learn how to do it the right way and it'll be balanced and for the highest good of everyone. Um, but I am seeing some connections with our true love partnerships, maybe our children as well, where we look at them in a different way and, and go, Hey, how can I, how can I hear you better today? How can I know you? Somebody out there, divine feminine energy, somebody um, loves you like that. And you deserve it. Even if they told you you didn't in the past. It's all, it's all evaporating. It's all dissolving. Cool. Communication. <laughs> the other one that fell out was communication number 15, I mean 14 which goes into a five, which is also transformation. Um, this is like death and rebirth. I feel huge death and rebirth energy for um, the divine feminine energies. And it feels like that they're all just like, look, I've done everything I'm supposed to. So um, I'm going to sit down. And in that, there's the blossom, there's the clarity, there's the recognition. Um, the frequency of communication supports our ability to exchange information in different forms. It reminds us to run every piece of information, both incoming and outgoing, through your heart, the center of our truth, to stay in the flow of source and balanced exchange. Look at that, those last two. How's that for some sacred union? So many of us might receive some communication um, from our people, our soul tribes, our um, divine counterparts uh, upcoming. And it just will be different than we've ever known before. And it could be like if you're married to your divine counterpart and you see them all day, every day, um, it might, you might just have a spark of, of recognizing like, whoa, I chose right. I didn't know that I chose right there for a while. And wow, that was hard. And wow, that was icky. But, um, Man, I love this person, and I can see home in their eyes. I can recognize them. And um, my heart is open and flowing with um, uh, the love, a higher love. Okay, what else we got? Six of Cups for divine um, feminine ener energies and our divine feminines. Um, that can sometimes mean a reconciliation. So you could have a reconciliation or be meeting someone. Um, 